Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In a couple of preceding lectures we've been drawing shapes on widgets, but they were all white. Let's see how to add colors using canvas context instructions. First of all, let's draw some shapes. We're gonna use our test files again, so make sure your test.py file looks like so. Here we have float layout and our root widget inherits from float layout. Now, as far as the kiwi file is concerned, it's very simple. Here's our root widget and here we have canvas and a rectangle. Here's the position and the size of the rectangle. And if you run this code, you will see the white rectangle drawn on the root widget. So nothing you couldn't have expected. Let's now make the rectangle red. To do that, all you have to do is add the color context instruction with the RGBA property. The value for the red color is 1001. So let's add the color instruction here. Fine. Red, green, blue, alpha. Red 1, green, blue 0, alpha 1. So fully opaque. And now, if you run this app, so let's save and run, the rectangle will be red. But watch what happens if I put the color context instruction after the rectangle instruction. So let me just cut it out from here and paste it down here. So first rectangle, then color. Save, run. Now the rectangle is white. Why is that? Well, that's because context instructions change the whole coordinate space context. If we change the color at a given point, the change will be only visible from that moment on and will continue to be visible until another change occurs. So, when we put the color instruction before the rectangle instruction, we change the color property for the whole coordinate space and then we drew the rectangle in this changed context. That's why the rectangle was red. In the other example, we first drew the rectangle and only then changed the coordinate space context. That's why the rectangle remained white. So, if you want the rectangle to be red, make sure the color instruction precedes the rectangle instruction again. So let's do it. Just Control Z to undo. And here we are. Save and run again. So first the color instruction changes the context, so the color, and then it draws using this color. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.